What's that? Action. Action, right. Okay, so that's Ben. Ben Strauss Malcolm. He's a director of this place. Clean Contemporary Art. And where are we? We're in La Jolla, right? We are in La Jolla, California. La Jolla. Palm trees, sun. And we're here to talk about this uh, show, which is called Serotonin, Happiness in Spiritual States. Um, and that's me. That's my name. Kelsey. That's me. And that's Ben. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna go in here. So when we walk through the front doors, we see a hundred of these seven inch little circle paintings. We're calling oculi. There's a hundred of those there. I, I did that. A hundred paintings. All those little guys. And then I did a hundred, and then I had to do one. Because you can't end at a hundred. And over here, to the left, you see Sarah and Nikki. They're working away. And the show title. But anyway, so back here. Circles. So there's a hundred of them, and they're all different types. There's some um, kind of more ornamental, sort of meditative works. There's some smiley faces. That's a, right there, that's a double smiley face. There's a black on black painting there. It's a smile. Here's another sort of meditative painting. So they're all fun, little quick little things that I do in the studio. Quick little things that can sometimes take three days. Um, so anyway, let's move over here into the first gallery that is pretty much all black and white. And the first painting we see is um, psilocybin. So let's check out the molecular um, structure of that thing because um, that's really what this is depicting is the molecular structure of psilocybin. Um, and that is here. So if you imagine this little hydrocarbon ring or this little benzene ring here with the carbons here and the hydrogens there corresponds to that that ring right there with the carbons here, the hydrogens there. Um, and then the rest of the molecule out here, um, the branching hydrocarbons extends here and here. Um, and so that's how this is conceived of. Each, each one of these little kind of focal points is, an, is a single atom. And the atoms then make up the molecule, which is psilocybin. Psilocybin, of course, is an active ingredient in magic mushrooms. Um, which a lot of Native Americans use in spiritual ways and college kids use in kind of irreverent, fun ways. This is, um, this is... Oculus 8. Oculus number 8, and it is a one, in, or one foot painting in diameter, and it's um, another one of the kind of meditative paintings over here. Oh, there's Ben again. Over here, we're looking at a, a rose window shape, so this kind of relates to sort of the spiritual side of the, the, mo the molecule serotonin. Um, and what is the title of this one, Ben? Rose window number one. Rose window number one. And you can see it's just really kind of like kind of more subtle details um, of these little lines that make up a pattern that then make up this window. These windows are, of course, rose windows that you see in. Um, churches and medieval churches in the in Europe. Um, it's just a great shape. Um, we're using this circle of this big black on black circle here um, which is titled Nice Try um, because if you can see there there's some words and it says Nice Try. Here's N-I-C-E-T-R-Y and if you get up close to it you really can't see it. You lose the word. It's just these tiny little lines, vibrating lines. Um, but then make up the whole word, nice try, make up the painting. So if we go into this gallery here, we see the painting serotonin, which we have a molecular line drawing of that as well that we could look at here when Ben stops texting. Ben, what email. were you doing there? What was, it? oh, okay, emailing. That's more important than this, huh? Uh, um, ben? No, no, this is my <laughs> All right. Put, Just emailing with someone in Tel Aviv. Okay, put, um, yeah, serotonin. So here is the molecular line diagram of serotonin. You can see the benzene ring structure, just like in psilocybin, um, and the hydrogens and um, carbons going away from that. And that's what we have here. We have, again, we have the benzene ring structure here and the hydrogens moving away in the chain. Um, it's a monoamine, and that is, that is sort of the, that is the painting that kind of started the whole show. So serotonin regulates a lot of different pathways in your mind, um, in your brain. One of them is kind of this, this happiness or 
there's a lot of them, but the ones I focused on for the show were happiness um, and then spiritual states. And it somehow regulates those. I don't think anybody really knows exactly how it works yet. But um, structurally, there's four molecules that work um, to give humans hallucinations um, and kind of the psychedelic experience. And they're all related structurally to serotonin. And they're LSD, psilocybin, um, mescaline, and DMT. And I'll show you those in a minute. Here's, here's some more of the kind of meditative works. Um, there's four of them. They're uh, 12 inches in diameter. And I don't remember the titles of those, but these are Oculus. Oculus is the title. Oh, for all of them, right? Okay, one through probably nine of them, I guess. And here are the larger kind of circles. So these are six six foot circles that we have in here. This one is white on white, and these kind of get more to the idea of meditation, um, which does relate back to serotonin again. Um, exactly how I don't really know and I don't know if anybody knows but um, these sort of these are just larger meditative works that um, kind of relate back to my um, meditative work um, in the sense that in meditation I'm always bringing my mind back to my breath and in these paintings I'm always bringing my mind back into the um, painting process continually watching the tip of my brush to make sure that the lines are all equidistant apart and the um, design is coming into fruition Here's the black one, same size. Um, and across the way we here, we have Ben again. And <laughs> nice pants, Ben. Nice. And then this, another six foot colorful um, painting, more of a meditative painting again. And then we're, we're here at mescaline. Um, mescaline, of course, is active ingredient in peyote um, and used again by uh, Native Americans, um, kind of in spiritual and shamanistic ways. Here is the structure, molecular structure of mescaline, you can see it relates right back again to um, to serotonin with the benzene ring structure and the branching hydrocarbons. You can see that up here. Um, each one of these little dots represents a, an atom, and so this would be this is a carbon atom here, and these atoms then together all make up the molecule of mescaline. Um, the next hallucinogenic molecule we have here is LSD. LSD is probably one of the more popular hallucinogens um, that everybody knows of in popular culture and it's a pretty complicated molecule but it, you can see it again here um, with the benzene rings and the branching hydrocarbons it relates directly to serotonin and acts in your mind in a similar similar fashion um, but in a kind of a psychedelic fashion as well. And here is that's the um, colorful rose window. We saw the black and black one, and here's a colored one. Um, this would be, I guess, rose window number two. Correct. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for that help, buddy. Well, here we go. We have, what is the title of this painting, Ben? Pandemesana, I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> number two. Padmasana, and uh, that is the lotus pose. So what you can imagine here is the Buddha seated on his Zafu here down at the bottom and the body aura of Buddha and then the halo aura of Buddha. Um, but I removed the figure in this painting and just left the uh, kind of the aura, the energy state. Um, and I've done two of these. This is the first one. And over here, there is the second one. Um, and then the last molecule, which is DMT. DMT is an um, active ingredient in a lot of the shamanistic preparations you get in the Amazon, um, namely ayahuasca, the most famous one. Um, and over here we've got some more 12 inches circles and one more 36 inch circle. And is it time to show everybody the bonus? Let's do it. Okay. Bonus time. Bonus time. All right, so the bonus of all these is they're all. Um, they all re react in black light, so they all um, fluoresce. So you can see I'm holding a black light flashlight up against this painting, and you can see how the pigments that I use that fluoresce um, are kind of glowing. And they look really interesting. Over here in the mescaline one, it, uh, it looks pretty cool too. We'll go right up close to it. Hopefully we can get the lights turned out, and you can see how these guys just really glow. Um, and it's tough to see, it's maybe tough to see because it's just glowing in light, but in person they're really just shimmering um, and glowing and it, it's pretty fun. 
it was uh, just sort of a lucky, lucky break. I didn't actually know that that was gonna happen, um, but they had a show here not all that long ago, and they uh, there was a black light, and one of my paintings was close to it, and this happened, and I thought that was pretty interesting. So yeah, so these are all under the influence of black light. These paintings are under the influence of black light here. Um, this is a three foot one, and then this is 12, 12 inch circle. And that's it. Ben, you got anything else to say? Amazing show. <laughs> Encourage everyone to come by and see it. Yes, come out. Thanks for watching.